Sox, yeah, but you might have to put Rivera on the DL. The Yankees, he's a four-time All-Star. The Sox, who's one in four this year? The Yankees, since 1918, 26 World Series titles. The Sox, that's below the belt. The Yankees trying to win their first series of the year against Beantown. First inning, Jason Jombie rocks John Burkett all upside the head. 25th homer of the year for Jombie. That's why Burkett came in 0-5 with a 9.98 ERA lifetime against the Yankees. Very next pitch, holla, holla. Bernie Williams, solo jack. Number 13 for Bernie. Four zip Yankees are just eight pitches from Burkett. Top two, cannot get a little bit. Manny Ramirez drills Jeff Weaver to left center. 13th for Manny. The 332 hitter went three for four. Top four, Noma. 5-2 Yankees. Nomar, 73 RBI this year. Next batter, I ain't gonna say them, but that ain't right. Manny Ramirez, second of the game, 30th career multi-homer game. Three batters later, Tony Clark rocks Weaver. Fourth home run given up by Weaver. Clark's third of the year, 6-3 Yankees on the three-run shot. Top seven, 7-6 seven, Yankees. Lord have mercy, Dan. I, he done made his kinfolk so proud. It'd be Tom and Paul and Sally. And Nook Nook and them. No more. Second of the game. 11th time an opposing team has hit five homers against the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. Bottom nine. Yanks trailing 8-7. What? A single? Who have singles in this highlight? Jason Jambi at the single. Enrique Wilson pitch running for Jambi. Next batter, Bernie Williams is off the meter to shallow right. Goes under Trot Nixon's glove. Wilson scores from first. We're tied at eight. Yankees one through four hitters went nine for 20. Take another look. Nixon just doesn't get the glove down. Bernie ends up at third. Red Sox walk the next two batters to load the bases. Little strategy here. Lou Maloney comes into the game. Trot Nixon goes out. Take a look at the Red Sox defense. It's like a softball defense. Favoring the right side, hoping Jorge Posada will pull it. Jorge, 0 for his last 13. It doesn't matter. On a 3-2 pitch, Uget Urbina walks him. Walks in the winning run. Ball game. Yankees win it 9-8. No matter what the Yankees do wrong, Jeff Weaver tying a team record by giving up five home runs. They still find a way to beat the Bo Sox. Let's play the what-if game. Sox lose two straight 9-8 games to the Yankees. And Joe and... Walk. He would later score in the inning. Giants trail 4-3 until Reggie Sanders takes matters into his own hands in the eighth. 14th on the year, and we're knotted at four. Barry Bonds sitting out this one. Still bothered by the tender hammy. Tom Goodwin facing Giovanni Carrera. Goodwin, the former Dodger, filling in for Bonds. His first of the year. Giants go up 6-4. That's the way it ended. Giants improved to 5-1 and one at Dodger Stadium this season. Giants also moved past the Dodgers back into second place in the National League West. Dodgers go 2-9 and nine on their 11-game homestand. Diamondbacks, Padres, Randy Johnson, 8-0 lifetime against the Pods. Bottom two, sacks Jack. Johnson facing Phil Nevin. Nevin's like, I'm about to get back on my grizzle, y'all. Back on my grind. Three runs score. Randy Johnson gives up six earned runs in one inning for the first time since May 7th, 1989. Bottom seven, Padres up 11-9. Mike Fetters facing Nevin. And Fetters, fetteringly, covers first for the out. Fetteringly, Dan, I just made that word up. Basically, what it means is fired up. Top nine, D-back still down 11-9. Luis Gonzalez facing Trevor Hoffman. 2-1 pitch to Gonzo, who had three RBI in the night. That's called strike. Gonzo begs to differ, although I don't think he said I beg to differ. I'm not sure. Can't read lips. Next pitch in the dirt. Gonzo tries to check his swing. Third base ump Matt Hollowell says it went for the final out, and now I'm sure he's not saying I beg to differ. Diamondbacks lose it 11-9. Despite... 56 and is only K 34 times a season, but Washburn does it to Ichiro. Desi Relaford wearing a mic for Sunday night's game. We love the mic. Bottom one, no score. Darren Erstad, grounder up the middle. Relaford with an ill defensive play to get Erstad. Desi, brother, how? How you gonna play him like that? I think he's out. I thought he was out. You thought it was safe? 
It's all right. You ain't the umpire. <laughs> As he knows, he's Mike. Bottom three, one zip angels. Jose Molina in first. Erstad sharp grounded at third. Jeff Cirillo from the ground throws high to Brett Boone. Nice catch to get Molina at second. Bottom seven, five, five time. Man in first, Garrett Anderson doing his thing. Kids putting it down. Right down the right field line. Erstad scores from first. Anderson, two doubles in the game. An American League high, 36 for the season. Angels do sweep the M's. The 7-5 win, and guys, thanks for uh, getting it over early on a Sunday night. Washburn does get his 12th straight win. Angels, who came into this weekend, having lost their previous 12 games at home against the Mariners, complete their first three-game sweep of Seattle since 1998, and they move atop the wild card race, and they now trail Seattle by just one game in the AL West. A's look to extend the Rangers' eight-game losing streak. Kenny Rogers still waiting for his approval for a trade to the Reds. Watching Mark Ellis against Danny Kolb. A-Rod comes home. Eric Burns runs into Bill Hasselman. Hasselman takes the blow, holds on. Game tied at two, and we go into extra innings. Bottom ten, same score, bases loaded. Ramon Hernandez against Jay Powell, just looking. And the A's come up empty. Bottom 11, A's threaten again. Bases loaded for Jermaine Dye. Just looking. A strands 16 batters in the game. Top 12, bases loaded for the Rangers. Pudge Rodriguez, first pitch. Base knockoff, Jim Mercier. Herbert Perry scores, and the Rangers take a 3-2 lead. Later in the inning, Rangers breaking it wide open. Alex Rodriguez, our Sunday conversation against Mike Benfro. The triple. Gabe Kapler was score in the Rangers. Tack on a few more and hold on to win this one by the final of seven to three. Eight game losing streak is over. The Rangers get ready to travel to Seattle. This was Texas second win since the All-Star break. After allowing Juan Gonzalez's first inning homer, Mark Mulder didn't allow another runner past first base. He's allowed just eight homers all season. Twins and Tigers top four. Twins down one zip. Steve Sparks facing David Ortiz, who's been straight rolling. Holla to play it. Solo homer for Ortiz, number six since the break. Fourth in the last three games. Twins tied at one. One of the rare bad pitches thrown by knuckleballer Steve Sparks. Ooh. Check out that ball movement, though, facing Bobby Kilty. Kilty starts with a K. And Tom Prince. You don't have to be beautiful. Prince again. Purple rain. It is Minnesota, Dan. I mean, you know. Matt LaCroix got struck out, too. Bases ordered, two outs. Sparks facing Dustin Moore. Moore grounds into short right through Ramon Santiago's legs. Two run score. Santiago went two for four, but that my bad cost him. Twins lead. They go on to win at 4 2. Sparks struck out nine and six and two thirds. Ortiz, five Jackson his last five games. Twins. 24 and 8 in the last 32 against the Tigers. They've won five straight and seven of eight overall. Let's go to Kansas City. Royals Indians. Bases loaded. Bottom six. One out. Nine six Indians. Carlos Beltran. Gone. 15th on the year. Fourth career Grand Slam. And the Royals lead it 10 to 9. Top nine. Two on one out. Tied at 10. Milton Bradley. It's deep, but it's playable. Ricky Gutierrez will score, but Lee Stevens gets greedy coming plate word, and he is meat. Bradley, five for six, five RBIs. Indians up by one. Royals down two in the ninth. Raul Abanez and Fuego. 14th on the year, and we're tied at 12. Bases loaded, top 10. Ibanez hit by a pitch from Heath Murray. Brent Main will score. The bases were loaded. Ibanez with five RBIs, and the Royals win this one. Abanez has 23 RBIs in his last 10 games. They won Finley against Kevin Young at 8 Ks in his debut. Top three, still tied at one. It's Josh Fogg facing Jim Edmonds with one on. Ball one. Keeping it inside. Ball two. Inside again. Ball three. And then they decide to put him on. Edmonds not pleased with how he was pitched and had some words for Lloyd McClendon. 
Jared Skipper. Well, Lloyd McClendon takes offense to Edmonds pointing to the dugout. Lloyd wants to make sure he's able to hear exactly what Jim Edmonds was saying, saying, why don't you get to first base? I think Lloyd wanted to take first base, actually. Fogg and Edmonds have words. Bullpen's empty. LaRusso and McClendon then discuss it. McClendon would say later, this wasn't about Tony LaRusso and Lloyd McClendon. This was about the Pirates and the Cardinals. Orders restored. Edmonds takes first. No ejection. First pitch after the altercation. Fogg should have pitched inside Albert Pujols. His 23rd, 4-1 cards. Top four, Fogg to Finley. First major league hit in 17 seasons. He was scoring a Fernando Vina single to make it 5-4. Let's go back to the first inning. Speaking of Fernando Vina, Ryan Giles will take out Vina hard at second on the double play. Let's go to the seventh inning. Giles again taking out Vina. Well, guess what? Bench is clear again. Tony La Russa is still not happy. Vina and Giles calm down. Everybody heads back to the bullpen. No ejections. Cards win. By the final of 8-4 to four in 17 games this month, Albert Pujols is batting 355. On second, third, Reds pitcher Elmer descends, getting righteous. Not bad for a guy who also extended his scoreless inning streak to 17 innings in the game. Two zips since he bottom three. Now it's three zips, sacks Jack. Kelly Stinnett since Al Ladders pitched through the gap and left. Two run score, but Brandon Lawrence, Larson gunned out at third base. Stinnett in only his third game of the year went three for four with three RBI. Bottom four, five zip reds. Peace. Former MVP Barry Larkin. Just fair for a solo shot. Sixth of the season. Barry getting 345 his last 17 games. And then top seven descends. Tells Vance Wilson, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the heck up out of here. Descends pitch seven scoreless innings. Walking two, striking out four. Reds win at 9-1. In his seven wins, descends has a .78 ERA. He also lowered his career ERA against the Mets to 1.95. Al Leiter, one and four with an ERA almost seven in his last six starts against the Reds. Braves in their five-game winning streak on display in Philadelphia. Braves 17-0 and four in their last 21 series. And sp uh, sporting the 1974 Atlanta Braves. Unis of uh, Sheffield, red hot since the All-Star break. Kevin Millwood, likewise. Top of the first no score, Randy Wolf. The Phillies donning the 1980 Unis when they won their only World Series. Sheffield 18th on the year. Sheffield has reached base in 47 consecutive games. As for Millwood, facing Scott Rowland. Rowland out on the fastball. Next batter, Millwood, Travis Lee on the curve. And then Millwood painting the corner to strike out Mike Lieberthal. He struck out the side in the fifth. Millwood facing Scott Rowland, bottom seven, two nothing Braves. Gary Sheffield can't come up with it. All the way to the wall, and it's a triple. 2-1 Braves in the ninth. Roland, the runner at third, two outs. Roland to Rafael for call, and the Braves win it 2-1. Braves have won 23 of their last 29. Sheffield is uh, one short of Dale Murphy's team record for reaching Facing the Expos, Wilton Guerrero goes down. His brother Vlad goes down. Andres Galarraga, the big cat, goes down. Tony Armas, second inning, the whiff, third inning. Vlad comes back for more. He goes down. Fourth inning, Galarraga. Armas. He goes down. Fifth inning, Wilton. But none of them ever really fell down. Cliff Floyd. Vlad Guerrero. Jose Macias. Brian Schneider. John Bacabella. Rusty Staub. Astros and Cubs. Lance Berkman. Booyah! You say booyah when you lead the National League with homers. Lance is 30th of the year, two zip strokes. Bottom six tied at two, Alex Gonzalez dropping that like it's hot. Doubles to deep left field. Darren Lewis scores Gonzalez, 18 doubles, 36 RBI this year. Cubs lead 3-2, Cubs win 3-2. Rockies eyed the weekend sweep of the Brewers. Larry Wonker loves hitting at home. Home batting average since 1996, a robust 404. This year, 393, including 16 homers and 53 RBIs. Bottom one, no score. Walker against Ben Sheets, gone. 21st on the air. He's hit safely in his last 30 home games. 
One of the rocks. Bottom three, Walker at it again. Base knock off Sheets. Walker two for two. Walker off Sheets. Three for three, two runs, a walk, Rockies win. White Sox and Orioles top nine O's up 7-6. Willis Roberts facing Mark Johnson. Tony Gravenito, Gravenito in first. Johnson, a 198 hitter, buttery smooth bunt. Roberts makes a bad throw to Luis Lopez at second. Lopez's foot comes off the bag. Gravenito safe. Watch the replay. Very, very close call. Looks out, but it's an E1, please. Two batters later, Buddy Groom facing Ray Durham. No, Durham lines a shot to center. Chris Singleton, see what happened. E8, please, and then he, he made a bobble. No. E8 again. Two errors on one play for Singleton. White Sox win, 8-7. to seven. Jay is seeking the weekend sweep of the Devil Rays. Carl Crawford, highly thought of prospect, making his debut Saturday, batting ninth on Sunday. A little chopper, Crawford beats it out, infield knock. Same inning, Crawford isn't staying put. He is off and running. Stealing on Tom Wilson, Crawford in scoring position. Steve Cox up. Cox, broken bat base knock, brings in Crawford, 2-1 Devil Rays. The gritty, gutty Devil Rays. Esteban Yan gets Carlos Delgado to fly out. Crawford makes the grab. Tampa ends its 13-game road losing streak.